Okay. So the the Muslim guy that you saw that night before before the incident actually happened, you know, later on there was police sketches. Uh, they were saying that the guy's name was Amir Muhammad. Does the police sketch look like the person that you saw? No. No. It, it's similar. Like I said, the bone structure, I had told them that. I said the bone structure was a little higher. You know what I'm saying? Vlad, you know, um, this is what I do for a living. You know, I'm a New York State parole officer. We had to go to school. We had to take classes. We had to take things with the DEA, with the Secret Service. We had to take classes with uh, NYPD, you know, state corrections and all that stuff like that. So um, when I told them, I said, yo, the bone structure was a little different. You understand? Uh, he had everything right, the blue suit, the white shirt, the blue bow tie, the whole nine yards. And how we found that out was is that little C's at the hospital, he said a Muslim shot big. And I said to Paul, with the blue suit, white shirt, blue bow tie, he said, Gene, how you know? I said, that motherfucker walked up the puff car first. But let's go a little further than that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, this is your interview. I'm going to let you ask the question. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Go further. No, no, but everybody's trying to say, you got to take the witness of what they said that night, that week, or whatever. Whenever they took, they gave their first statement, listen to what they said. You understand? Now, the guy walked up to me in Puff car. There's a picture that the LAPD, when they came to, sh to, to, to interview me with my lawyer, Eloise Nurse there, and they made a mistake and showed me that picture. How they make a mistake? They were taping me without my consent, without my permission. New York is not a two-party state. You have to have an individual's permission to tape them. They were taping me and the tape clicked off. When they clicked up, when the tape clicked off, they had pictures under the sheets, under the cover, right, with the tape recorder. So they had to move the blanket now, the sheet now, to get to the tape recorder, right? Then my lawyer said, you're taping my client without his permission? They get this excuse, oh, we can't remember everything, so we're... She said, no, we're not doing that. He's here to help y'all. And y'all sitting there, here, uh, uh, you know, infringing on his rights, breaking his rights, whatever terminology, legal terminology used at the time. Um, and then they had a bunch of pictures on the wall. I said, what are these pictures here? And I grabbed the picture. And the picture was the Muslim guy, me, and Puff in there. And it didn't come from no no videotape from somebody because they had the Muslim guy face facing me, had Puff on the side and, and, and the side of me. So it came from some kind of camera from the Peterson Museum. But they had the face of the Muslim guy messed up where I couldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm clear, Puff clear, his suit and all we had on was clear, but his face wasn't. And then they're giving me the shit that they gonna uh, have the computer regenerate some kind of uh, photo and stuff like that and show it to me at a later time that they were going to come and show it to me in two weeks or have fly me out to L.A. I never heard back from him ever. And to the deposition. Well, uh, Amir Muhammad, who they say is the, the Muslim guy in that in that photo is, a, I believe, a mortgage broker somewhere in California claims that he has absolutely nothing to do with this, does not want to do interviews, uh, basically is trying to separate himself away as far as possible. Um, you know, C's said what, what, what he, what he said, but ultimately there's, there's other stories that, that have surfaced on this. There was a guy named Pucci who was one of Suge's guys Bruh. who they say what was paid to kill, Bruh. what was paid to kill Biggie. Go Bruh. ahead. What did the witness that night say? Who was there? 
the eyewitness that saw his mentor, the eyewitness that saw his big brother, what did the eyewitness say that night? He said that a Muslim shot big. I placed the Muslim at the scene. I don't give a shit what nobody say 10 years later, 15 years later. What? Because they rappers, they black, that I, what we saw, what we experienced don't count. You want to make up something? Everybody ducked down in the car. Nobody ducked down in the car. Who ducks down when they hear a shooting? No, nobody, they, we looking to see where the shot's coming from first. That's what we do. We want to know where they coming from. End up ducking into something. So my whole thing about it is they not taking what the eyewitnesses has said into accountability. Why would, why, why would we say don't have no, 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 um, no leverage. What we say don't mean a damn thing. Come on, brother. We were there. If I placed the guy there and Lucy said that's who shot big, then why don't y'all show that picture of me, Puff, and the Muslim guy? 